hi friends um welcome back to my channel so guys this is the continuation of the previous video in last video we have done how to insert the data using resource controller with the eloquent model okay so with one web route we are going to do all the crud okay c r u d so that is create read update delete okay so now we are in this video we will do that about to display the data or fetch the data okay so according to it we will be editing and displaying it okay updating it also in next video so in this video we will be retrieving the data okay and displaying it so guys inside resource folder views we have to create one file so that will be student form okay so let's create student form dot blade dot php just give enter <coughs> excuse me guys so guys let's design this form okay and display it okay so that is html5 okay as normal what happened so yep so first thing is that we will include the css for the bootstrap thing so in last video i have just taken this i'm going to copy this and paste it into my bootstrap file so now let's go to a chrome and search for the table into the documentation and you will get this table form okay so whatever style you like you can take it so i'm going to choose this dark and paste it into my file okay so just click on copy or just drag and drop it okay and paste it into your table right so um, yep i don't need all this so now what we are going to do is that so guys um it's pasted right so now what we are going to do is that we will display this table okay so that will be displaying the table so now first thing i will cut this okay so i'm going to cut this control x and create one container called container inside container i'm going to create one jumbotron inside this jumbotron now i'll paste this table okay as simple so i'm going to create one row okay so row inside that row i will give a hyperlink okay hyperlink for um to add data add data okay so that is add data add hyphen data and we'll give as add student okay and we'll create three buttons okay as normal copy paste paste so this will be to mm, edit okay or yep don't need okay so we'll just give one add button as simple okay add student now this should be referred to the web route okay so first thing we will just display these things okay so what i'm going to do is that mm, let's go to a controller okay so inside app http controller that is student controller we have created in the previous video and inserted the data okay so now first thing we have to do that we have to display that student okay so we will retrieve this table previous video this is okay so we will be retrieving this table on the click of this add student okay so don't need to worry that we will just comment it okay and later we will accept it now i am going to tell that okay so how in this video only i'll tell off so guys first thing you have to do that create one variable called dollar students any variable according to your wish is equal to um, your students and dollar students with your model okay that is student model with all you are going to retrieve it okay so what you will be retrieving is that and return it return view what you are going to view your nothing but your table okay and mean to tell that inside this resources views this is your student form okay so i'm going to view that student 
FORM form and with the mm, compact okay so compact or you can use with so I'm going to use compact that is students okay so we don't need this dollar and comma now we need this dollar okay students and give colon done so let's save this and uh, in web route we have done already I mean to say in previous video we have finished it so click on routes web.php and this is our resource controller okay so there is only one web route okay so for resource controller so guys now I'm going to show you the output mm, make sure your PHP artisan is running okay so this is my artisan is served already so this is my form and yep let's click on students so this is my output okay first thing so let's go to our web route copy the students whoa give a slash and paste enter so we are getting this things okay so add students when you click on add students it should go to add form and your form should be viewed okay so let's code for that mm, as simple guys it doesn't take much time so I'll give one bootstrap class for this class is equal to button button that is primary okay inside the single words okay so button primary and let's give this just copy this URL okay go to web route and give one simple route okay so that is R O U T E route mm, get you are getting that form right so now create and inside this you are going to paste that add data and your student controller what you have created it student controller at mm, create will give okay so at create is already there in your student controller so let's go back to our student controller and at create is there so we are going to um, return return view what you are going to view is nothing but your form as simple okay so no confusion inside resource folder mm, use your add student form should be displayed a d d s t u d e n t add student done student yep so let's go back refresh and let's click on add student and boom so you have got the form so now if you click on insert the data it will get inserted also as simple and possible okay so nothing but just a simple difference so guys now we will be ret ret retrieving the data in this whatever you have inserted it okay so in last video we have inserted this with prakash and prakash some data of the student so we will edit with that okay so let's go to a form and check so let's make it as id and the fields are name and mm, course so address and final one thing one more thing is that id I mean mobile so I'm going to enter that will be mobile number okay so guys it's almost finished now now what we have to do is that mm, just remove all this we'll be fetching it okay so let's start with the for each loop for each okay so inside for each loop I'm going to paste this TD okay no confusion and very clear and simple I want to close this okay so now what we have to do is that dollar students okay so this students is nothing but your controller okay inside your controller where is that index yeah so this is the index thing this student is over here student as dollar row or whatever you can create I'm going to create only student okay so student and I'm going to display the data of student ID okay so that is dollar student of its ID okay simple and guys now let's go back 
and check the output whether the id is coming so four and five okay it's coming but we have to mention in a proper way right so for that let's copy this Control c paste 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 and paste so final one more thing is that name so course so guys these things are nothing but my database contents so inside my student database students so i have name course address and mobile okay so i'm going to insert those things so these things are nothing but coming from the eloquent model okay um, m o b i l e mobile so i'll tell you inside my app there is one student.php okay so this is the um model okay and this is my resource controller right so yeah guys so let's continue with this okay and uh, yeah so it's set let's put this tr inside the for each loop okay cut and paste let's save and reload reload and yep so the data is coming for five oh wait prakash on prakash and his phone number so you can come to know guys that uh, we are retrieving the data by its for each loop i mean by the controller with the help of model okay so um we will make this one more thing as simple so um, just i'm going to use one h2 tag like um laravel crud using resource resource controller with eloquent q u e n t eloquent model okay and i will give one break line that is dr so let's refresh and the figure has been changed so guys now you have learned how to retrieve the data into the um from the database okay so using eloquent model with the help of resource controller okay so you have not done any other controller to fetch the data okay so you will be inserting with this resource only and fetching also with this is the resource controller only so i will show you that once how to insert it so insert so i am going to enter like there is already a way the norm so i am going to insert one shahid okay his course is whatever bc only and will give bangalore as tani road okay and mobile number some mobile number and let's submit so you will get a message and redirected okay so it's getting redirected so guys finally you have learned how to uh, get the shah i mean insert the data and retrieve it using the lecon model okay with the help of resource controller so there is only one coding okay so this is just to just a button route that uh, to retrieve the form okay so yeah guys so in this video that's it now in the next video we will be learning about how to update the data using only one route that is resource controller with the help of eloquent model okay so guys thank you for watching this video once again and uh, please subscribe like and share the channel okay guys and video too thank you